Welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 boss fight highlight video. This is the 12th boss I believe I've fought in Dark Souls 3 and this is the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. If you watched yesterday's video you may have seen the introduction to this fight. Uh, I'm not showing that actual fight because I was killed immediately. Um, I was dropped into a fight I had two Estus and I had the wrong weapon equipped because I was saying that it's kind of weird how that happens and it turns out that that event triggers after you've defeated three Lords of Cinder so I had no idea it was going to happen uh, I'm playing the game with no foreknowledge at all so I'm just basically uh, bashing my way through blind but anyway this is a successful fight uh, and I think it took me about four attempts a lot of people had a lot of issue with this boss but I really enjoyed this fight this is a much more traditional uh, soul style boss in the way that you just have to react to its movements and chop its legs so it's a very very traditional fight uh, it does have uh, like a flurry of attacks where it'll actually swing up to seven times now I think that's probably the one that a lot of people have issue with but you just you really need to uh, pick your distances with this guy if you can get uh, away especially when he does the massive flurry of attacks keep an eye out for things like that when he does a small AOE um, but yeah distance and just looking for openings which is just the that's the the way that all of the souls bosses work keep your distance watch for patterns uh, and then look for openings and then do safe damage if you can do that I mean the game becomes a lot less difficult there are a lot of times where the, uh, there's certain things that seem like they're completely unavoidable or undodgeable but it, it comes down to positioning then if something can't be dodged uh, it generally means that you shouldn't be anywhere near it so try and get on the back foot uh, or even just if the arena is big enough go to the other side of the arena so that's the big flurry there you can see I'm just trying to stay completely away I'm not trying to get in close and dive roll through all those attacks because what would happen is very similar to when you fight Pontiff Sullivan. Uh, if you're too close to him and he does his big combo, you can try and dive roll through it all, And but if you get tagged by one or two of them, you're going to lose so much stamina um, that you're going you're to have nothing left for an attack after it, and you're going to have nothing left to roll again if he starts a combo again. So I think it's smarter to just get away. Get away, wait for a big attack that you know has a big recovery frame like that there, run in do some damage even if it's two three swipes now you can dodge those uh, the big flurry is this one this is the one you got to worry about so you see there where I'm trying to dive roll so close to it I just eat so much damage it's very difficult to dive roll seven <laughs> six or seven uh, consecutive attacks it's pretty rough oh yeah did enjoy this fight did enjoy this fight now as far as where I'm at in the game right now I just finished a play session I wanted to try and have the game finish this weekend so I am a fair bit of head of the videos now which is good because that means that I have plenty of uh, fights to uh, do commentaries over and upload for you guys to watch uh, but yeah I did not get the game finished this weekend it turns out that I have as far as as I can tell I have fought every single boss in Dark Souls 3 except for two uh, the very last boss and there's another boss that apparently is at the end of the, the area that I'm currently in that is supposed to be very difficult so um, I, I thumbed through the the guide I was actually sent a copy of the guide by a Australian company called Blue Mouth Interactive and I thumbed through the guide just to quickly have a look to see like whether I'd missed anything or skipped anything and yeah it looks like uh, I have two more bosses to go. So I didn't miss any boss fights. So I fought every single boss I'm pretty sure there is to offer in Dark Souls 3. And you are going to see them. So yeah, I'm up I'm up to yeah two more bosses left. And I have all the other fights recorded. So you are going to see those. But anyway, that was the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. The, I think I throw my stats up on the screen now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I show my stats at the end of this. I think I do it at the, at the end of all the fights from now on. I didn't really level up much. Let me let me know if you're watching this video. Let me know what level you were when you fought this dude. Were you higher? Were you lower than what I am? I know a lot of people are doing real low-level playthroughs, but what, what level you were you were with just natural progression here when you fought this guy? I'd be interested to know. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Another one will pop up tomorrow, but until then, we will see you later.